Around 6 a.m., a stray dog named Jack went on his daily breakfast run. As usual, he rummaged through the trash cans that were near some restaurants on the main street of Brunswick, United States. In the midst of these garbage cans, his senses suddenly awakened. Behind one of the barrels, against a brick wall, lay an old blanket. Something was curled up inside and it was moving. Jack approached slowly. It smelled like humans. He didn't like that. He didn't dislike people, but he didn't particularly trust them either. In the nine years he had lived on the streets, he had seen the ruthlessness they were capable of. It was not uncommon for him to become a victim himself. But when he pressed his nose to the bundle to get more information, he realized that this smell was different from the human smells he was familiar with. His instincts told him it was something tiny, fragile, and helpless. And even if it was a human, if he didn't do something, he would die. After staring at the blanket for a few minutes, Jack sniffed it and turned the bundle so that he could gently grasp it with his mouth. Then he picked it up, he was now a stray dog on a mission. Whatever was in the blanket moved a little and then went completely limp. In his dog brain, it was time for Jack to make his next decision. What should he do? He needed help, but it was too early. The restaurants were still closed. That meant there were no people around yet. And as much as he wanted to remain indifferent, he knew he needed human help. The tiny figure in the ceiling wriggled again, and Jack realized the urgency of his mission. There was a strange building a few streets away, where he sometimes searched for food, and he knew from experience that there were always people there, no matter the time. When he rounded the final corner five minutes later, he saw that he was right. There were many people there. Some milled about in the parking lot, others rushed through the sliding doors. A large vehicle approached from the left. It had flashing red lights and made a terrible sound. Jack immediately walked towards the sliding doors. A shift change was taking place inside the Brunswick Hospital. A patient was being wheeled out of an ambulance into one of the emergency rooms and the nurse behind the counter called the emergency doctor on duty over the intercom. At that moment, she noticed the dog. The sight immediately made her jump. A dog had no place in an emergency room. It would inevitably cause a distraction. And this was not an environment where distractions were welcome. So she stepped out from behind the counter and immediately started scaring the dog away. Jack could see that the woman was trying to scare him away. She didn't even look at the bundle in its mouth. Instinctively, he wanted to drop the blanket and its contents on the floor and leave, but for some reason he decided to look for another person. He deftly avoided the angry woman and hurried into another room. It was the break room. Three women were drinking coffee. At first, they didn't notice the dog. But when he finally came into view, two of them immediately began to shoo him away, just as the lady behind the counter had tried to do. The little bundle in his mouth wriggled again, and Jack looked hopefully at the third woman. She looked at him in surprise. Then she rose from her chair, walked over to him and spoke in a soft voice. Jack liked her immediately. She wasn't like the others. So he let her get closer. When he was sure he had her full attention, he gently dropped the bundle to the floor and took a step back. Angelina Potter had been on staff at the hospital for almost 10 years, but something like this had never seen her before. This animal's behavior probably had something to do with the bundle in its mouth. When he dropped it on the floor and took a step back, she knew this was important. She could tell from the condition of the fur that it was a stray. Angelina didn't want to scare the animal, but she also knew she had to get her hands on the small bundle on the ground as quickly as possible. She took two more steps forward and spoke to the dog in a low voice. He took another step back. She felt like he was trying to give her access to the rolled-up blanket. He wouldn't relax until she looked inside. As she knelt on the floor and carefully unpacked the bundle, tears welled up in her eyes. It was the last thing she expected, and yet she knew what it was even before she peeled off the last layer of the blanket. It was a tiny baby, just a few days old. It was barely breathing and its skin was blue from the cold. Angelina immediately took action. She shouted to the nurse behind the counter to get a doctor, 
adding that an infant was in critical condition. She warmed her hands by rubbing them together and tapped the baby's chest and soles of her feet to see if there was a reaction. Nothing. However, the infant had a heartbeat, and that gave her hope. When the doctor came, she stepped aside. He checked the heartbeat and listened for signs that the infant was breathing. Angelina exhaled slowly and turned her attention back to the dog. She praised him for his behavior and held out her hand, hoping he would let her touch him. This was unusual for Jack. This woman tried to touch him. Normally he would never allow that. But he liked her. He knew in his heart that she was kind. However, he had no idea that what would happen next would change his entire life. When Angelina held her hand even closer, the dog relaxed. She placed her hand gently on his head and then began to scratch his ears. And when she turned to grab a jacket from the coat rack, he followed her. Angelina smiled as the dog sat down and watched her put on her jacket. Then she turned and went to the door. Are you coming with me? She asked over her shoulder as she patted the side of her leg. Jack understood and followed her out the door. Three months later, much had changed for the stray dog, the baby he saved, and the nurse herself. Angelina had taken Jack home and he was now living with her permanently. It was his very first forever home and he settled in beautifully. But the good news was far from over. Jack couldn't believe it when his new owner returned from work one evening with a small bundle in his arms. He recognized the smell immediately and jumped up in excitement. The little person in her arms was the same one who had been curled up in an old blanket in the alley behind the Italian restaurant. Angelina had adopted the baby and decided to give the little creature a new life with lots of love and affection, just like the dog. If this story touched you as much as it did us, you should watch this video. A man helped a dying polar bear. You won't believe what happened next. Click here to get the full story.